Hi, it's Tess. I thought I'd pop on tonight and make a quick video before I take my shower and go to bed. Um, it's Sunday night. I think this is, is it the sixth week? Sixth week I've made a video this year? I don't remember. Um, but I think I've been pretty good about having a video every week so far. So I'm kind of proud of myself. We'll see if it continues <laughs> or, or if I peter out. Um, we have a very low chance of getting any snow days, which kind of helped me go get through like that January through spring break time at school. Snow days for a teacher are like even better than when you're a kid. But we have not had any since December and I don't know. I'm going a little crazy. My kids are all a little crazy. <laughs> I'm just trying to make it through, okay? <laughs> but um, this week, um, I was able to participate with Magical Stitches again, although I barely had any time to stitch this week. I think I only got one 200 count challenge done before yesterday. I did all my stitching yesterday. I did the rest of it today. Um, yeah, because this week has just been, it was crazy. Too much going on. Uh, me and my husband decided to run like a virtual half marathon next weekend. So we've been at the gym running for that. <laughs> Which, I mean, if you knew us, we're not runners. But we did a marathon when we were on our vacation, um, the Disney Cruise vacation. At Castaway Key, we did their 5K, and it was like, oh, well, we did a 5K this year. Let's see if we can keep it up, you know? So um, we're going to do a virtual half marathon in February, and I think we're going to try to do another, like, every month if we can. We'll see. <laughs> that might peter out, too, but we're having fun with it now, so we might as well keep going, right? Um, but anyway, we were at the gym a little more often than normal, plus other things that were going on. So, not that much time to stitch. This week, um, I think it feels like I should have enough time to get everything done. I don't have a lot of things going on at work um, besides the normal stuff. No grades or anything due, no crazy things um, to get caught up on or anything. So... I should be home at normal time um, and have some time to stitch in the evenings, I hope, because I like to stitch in the evenings and if I would get up early, which last week did not happen, um, I like to have stitching time in the morning too and that's really like I could get half of a challenge done in the morning and then finish it off in the evening, that's perfect. So I think I'm going to try to do more of that. Um, what else? I got a very kind shout out this week um, from Joe, <laughs> Joe Gregoire. Um, I have been watching her for years, so I feel like I know her. She's like um, another kindred spirit, you know, silly and fun and always smiling and thinks positively. I love that about her. Um, but she shouted me out this week, which totally made my whole week. At least I think it was me. Um, I did check to see if there was another Junebug Crafts because I was like, maybe it's not me. <laughs> because she said the kindest thing. She said I was young and that I looked like I should have been in middle school or something. I'm like, what? <laughs> Anytime you give a woman a compliment of looking young, you know that feels really good. So I appreciate that. And if it wasn't for me, I'm just going to pretend like it was because it really did make my week. <laughs> I was having a crummy week. So um, that really made me smile and uh, just kind of brought a little pep to my step. <laughs> so thanks for that kind shout out, Joey. That was amazing. So um, kind of silly, but that happened. Um... Oh, I guess I could show you uh, what I was working on. Um, I think I had mentioned I was going to work on Winter Glow and Summer ABCs this week, and I did. Um, I got 
a little bit of done, a little bit of work on both, and then I also had a new start, so I'm excited to show you that. Now this is almost done, and I think uh, I could probably finish it this week because there's I don't think there's much at all left. So this is the year of celebrations. It's the March from Hands On Design, and it's on um, vintage country mocha fabric. So it's got a little bit of variegation. You can see it there. I did change the color slightly. I have used the DMC conversion. And then I added the gold was like a um, when I had my stash and then I used black coffee for the black because it's kind of it's not quite dark not black black which I like and I kind of added it here there was supposed to be some orange um, and I didn't I didn't want to use it so I used the black instead and I think I like how it looks um, pretty basic but cute so I have, I think luck goes here and then there's some flowers daisy chain there and I think I need to fill this in. Um, and then just like his little boots. So I have a challenge next week where we have to stitch on our closest to a finish piece. And this one's gonna work for that, I think. So I will have this one out again and hopefully I can finish it off because it would be nice to get March done. Uh, it's only February, so I'd be a month ahead. And I already have, I have, you know, on the front cover, the way they finished it there. Let me show you. So the directions for this um, little clipboard are on her, on bl her blog. Um, gosh, what's her first name? Haberman is her last name, but what's her first name? I can't think of it. Um, anyway, the hands-on design blog has this lovely um, thing, like the how-to instructions are on there. So I might, I have the clipboard already and I have this piece. So I may end up making that myself just to put these little pieces on, or I may try to find something else. I'm not quite sure what I wanna do. I have a couple ideas, so. I still haven't made it to any shopping to kind of figure out what I want to make next with it. But I mean, that's got to come next, right? Because if I get March done, I'm going to want to finish it before March. So I got to go shopping. Uh, but that'll be fun. I think I can finish that next week. So I'm going to try. The next thing after that I worked on was Winter Glow, and I just think this is the prettiest piece. Let's see if I can get it though. It's on the bottom of my pile over here. So this is a Mill Hill kit, and it looks like that when it's all finished. And I got uh, quite a bit done. I think I put 400 stitches or so in it. Oh, I still have a thread hanging. One thing about this challenge is I try to make every stitch count for the challenge. I've noticed I've been a little bit more of a misfit when it comes to not finishing things. You know, I should have just finished that, but I didn't. Um, so I stitched this kind of a medium dark blue and I got a bunch of this done over here and then some of this done as well. So my sky is growing. You can see this is the edge right here. And this is a top edge. So if I just kind of connect those, I'm pretty close to finishing that little corner up. And I may try for that next time I get it out. This one's a nice one to stitch. Um, I pulled it out specifically because I needed to stitch on something blue. The only problem I have with it is like, so stitching on the holes, they're kind of big and the needle will fall back through. Like if I'm stitching on it, you kind of have to hold it there while you pull it. Um, it's just a little bit of a challenge, I guess. And I don't feel like I can stitch two-handed with this. I think I always have to use just one hand because I don't have anything to like, I mean, you have to hold on to it. I don't have anything to prop it against. Usually if I have a Q-snap or something, if I'm sitting at a table, I can kind of lean it on the table. Um, I also have this little lap stand that I lean it against, 
but this, I can't do that. I have not figured out a way to do that with that yet. So, I stitch one-handed, or two, one-handed, yeah. <laughs> I had to use that for the challenge. There was two on there, um, the Royal Wedding, which had to have beads, any project with beads, and then um, a challenge to use blue or red. So I used blue and got some stitching done on that. Um, after that, I pulled out um, the summer ABCs because I needed a project with flowers and with food. Now, I did not read the challenge very well because it actually said stitch on a food you would not eat. <laughs> and I didn't know that. Um, I read it as stitch a food. So I was like, oh yeah, summer ABCs. They got ice cream and watermelon and all sorts of good stuff, right? So all stuff I would eat. That's the thing. I love watermelon and ice cream. Who doesn't, right? There's pies and lemonade. I don't think there's a food on here I wouldn't eat. But I just kind of played it because you get to explain yourself in the challenges to make them fit. So since I ended up stitching the ice cream, you can see here, I stitched the ice cream. And um, I said, I would never eat ice cream when it's this cold outside because it's too cold for ice cream. So I hope they don't dock me points for that, but <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> I made a mistake, I'm sorry. So you can see I've got a good chunk of it done. I'm down to K. I'm nearly to the halfway point there, which is kind of exciting. These little motifs are pretty fun to stitch on. Uh, I love it. Um, the fabric is that same vintage country mocha. I'm actually stitching the other thing on the other half of this. So that works out well. It's really pretty. Uh, and I used that for two of the other challenges just to get some stitches in on it. And then lastly, there was a bonus to stitch on some letters because of, uh, in the book, there's some, I think they call them odd sisters. I have not read the book yet. I got to play catch up on that because I've been reading Percy Jackson instead. I know I'm a nerd. I teach fourth and fifth graders and they talk about Percy Jackson all the time. So I had to be in the know, <laughs> but I'll catch up on this book before the month's end. Um, the, so the odd sisters and they have, their names are Lucinda, Ruby, and Martha. So we had to use something with an L, something with an R and something with an M in honor of them. And since it was a bonus, I felt like it was the perfect time for a new start. And I pulled out, since I had summer ABCs out, I pulled out the winter ABCs that I have recently kitted up. That's what that one looks like. I'm using the called for everything, really. I have the called for fabric and the called for threads. And I went ahead and started it. So here's what I have so far. So this is the Vintage Tundra Fabric by Lakeside Needleworks. I hope it's looking good on camera here. And I got through down to the E and I have this lovely little wreath that's all finished up there. Um, and some of the leaves and, and um, tree branches up there. This one's super cute. I love the colors. Um, they're Christmas, winter, you know, but they're just, they're still just so pretty. <laughs> so I'm enjoying it. I can't wait to get to stitch on this some more. It's funny with these challenges, you only get to stitch like a couple hundred stitches on each thing. So sometimes it feels like I'm moving on before I'm ready. Like with both of those projects, I think I could just stitch and stitch on those until I was done. Um, but I don't know. I want to, I keep wanting to finish these projects too. So I guess as long as I'm getting some, uh, what 
as long as I'm getting some stitches in somewhere, they all count, right? <laughs> Every stitch counts. Okay, so next week I have already made a plan to work on two things. Um, there's like the homework. One of them was to do a luminescent dream on a dark background or something like that. Um, the second one is closest to a finish and I think I'm going to work on my March year celebrations for that. Uh, the next one I have to stitch on a face. Um, something that reminds me of my father. And then uh, there's a funeral one, which is just three or more people. So that's not terrible. And then there's a bonus. If you want to, you can stitch on your fairest of all whip, which I guess would be your favorite, right? Um, and that you could trade in for any of the other 200 point um, homework assignments. So I may trade one of those in. I don't know. I really, 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 really want to work on my big red ship because I feel like at the beginning of the year, it's kind of one of those things like I like to pull it out at the beginning of the year and get a big old chunk of it done so that I can finish the colors I'm working on by the end of the year. Um, this time was different though because last year I didn't get a lot of stitching done on it. So I feel like I need to make up some time. And right now, um, let me just show you the whole thing first. All right, here's my big red ship of life. This is um, a big pattern by Ink Circle Designs and I'm doing it in an ombre. You can see that there's a lot of people, there's a lot of animals, a lot of colors. It's a fun one to stitch on. So I think it easily works for almost all of my things. The only thing it doesn't work for is something that reminds me of my dad, but I mean, I'll either think of something, some reason why it reminds me of him, or I can use the Ferris whip because this is the prettiest whip I have. <laughs> I mean, it's a rainbow ombre, come on, right? This is stitched on um, antique white Lugana. Is it Lugana? No, it's linen. And it's Belfast, yeah. So antique white linen and the colors are by Fiberlicious. And it's the Ocean Sunset colorway. I'm just doing a band in each one of those colors. Um, and this is a part I want to get done this year. So let me fold it like this. Um, right here, I have three colors I worked in. These last three shades of pink. So the purples and then go into this nice fuchsia color. Those are the three I really want to get done this year. So I think what I'm going to do is work on it for all of the challenges this week and maybe try to get in another 500 or so. Um, I know there's a couple other challenges that I missed this week in regards to opening park areas. Um, if you're curious on these challenges, please see Magical Stitches on Instagram, or not Instagram, on Facebook. Um, magical Stitch, the School of Magical Stitches in Literature. That's what it's called. Um, and each group has its own little challenges and I try to focus on as many as possible, but there's literally so many that you kind of have to pick and choose what you do. Uh, but if I can just get a big chunk of this done, I would be super happy with myself and feel really good about the fact that I could get the rest of the pink done by like October, right? I think I started this in October, um, maybe before I worked on it at Stitch Fest this year. So that was in October. But if I could get it, it done by October, then I'd be great. I'd feel really good about it. I can move on to the next color. Um, it's such a fun project to work on because of all the little motifs. And the way I'm ombreing, ombreing, is ombreing a word? Um, the way I'm kind of moving in between colors, there's, oh, excuse me. Sorry guys, I'm tired. 
um, there's some feathering involved, which is kind of fun to figure out. It's like um, every time you do a new color, you kind of feather up or down, and then you really don't know what it looks like until you stitch that, that next color in. So it's kind of, it's hard to do, but it's also exciting to see what it looks like when they're all together. So I love this project. This is probably my favorite thing I'm stitching right now, and I really um, would love to do some more on it. So that's my plan. Uh, I'm gonna hopefully finish year celebration March, and then I'm bringing the big guy out. <laughs> so this will be fun. And my favorite show is on this week. I don't know if any of you watched Survivor, but I am a little bit obsessed with it. <laughs> and this year is um, Winners at War. So it's got all winners, past winners as the contestants this year. So a lot of my favorite players are coming back and um, I just, I'm so excited. I love it. So anyway, that's coming on. That'll give me a good hour to stitch, right? That's really like the only TV show I watch. <laughs> Man, it makes me sound really boring. Um, I didn't even watch Survivor when I was young because it came out like, I guess 20 years ago. So I was still pretty young and I didn't watch it until maybe two years ago. And my husband and I just decided, oh, we should, we should watch that. We've never seen that. We should watch it from the beginning. And we did, we watched the entire 20 years. <laughs> we binge watched it for like the whole year. And um, now I'm obsessed with it because I guess that's what happens when you, that's the only show you watch for a year. <laughs> so Survivor, I'm excited. Oh, well, other than that, I did not do any shopping this week. I um, have been pretty good. I have a little list in here of things I need to get for other projects, like just little um, colors I'm missing for some of the things I uh, kitted up a little bit ago. And I may end up popping down to my LNS next weekend to get some of these. The only bad thing I'm sure everyone can understand, like, Everything on my list is um, thread. Look, I think I have the fabric, I have the patterns, all I need is a few threads. But every time I go into my LNS, I can't just buy threads. Like, I at least have to bring a pattern home or something, right? <laughs> I'm sure you can understand. <laughs> but, oh man, it's tough to leave without at least one pattern. Uh, but, I mean, really, I, if I did get something, I could save it for Mania, right? I could. It is fun to start things, though. All right. Um, I think I'm going to let you go. I'm going to go take my shower and get ready for tomorrow. I hope I can upload this video before I go to bed, too. That would be nice. Um, and thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you want to look up my pictures on Instagram. I guess I don't stitch it. I don't post as many stitchy pictures as I think I do. Um, but I probably should should post a little more. <laughs> but my Instagram is Tessa Wise. Um, if you want to look me up there, you're welcome to. Uh, and otherwise, I guess I'll see you here again next week. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.